Open your head Take a glance Don't be scared I'm right here Even though Okay, boys and girls, we are back. And it seems like uh, some of the fans seem to like these Battle Royal videos. Uh, we're going to go in and we're going to check out my formation. And then we are going to have a look and see how we can do. All right, so my formation is as such, um, my Chiron 135. Uh, yeah, his aides are um, obviously uh, Renny Van is off the hook for uh, aides for Chiron and any other sharpshooter attacking heroes. Uh, Pangoli, I've switched it up a little bit because this is an all-air attack type of uh defensive base so uh, I had to do some a little bit of adjusting I'm keeping my great sage in there so that I've got uh, him to increase the rage of the uh, of the rage meter um, so that's pretty huge I got my Rene van um, actually I need to take that off of there that's just ridiculous what am I doing uh, she does no damage so what's the point um, yeah that'll go there Okay, and um, do I really need pan on pan? I think maybe blockhead might be better on pan. Um, just for the very fact that he just attacks so hard. What am I doing? Okay, blockhead. Yeah, um, pan always attack is just so savage that, uh, yeah, it's really... It only makes sense to use uh, Blockhead here to make him, make him attack a little faster. Um, who else have we got here? Yeah, we could probably bring in uh, Abyss to aid. Yeah, okay, let's do that. I'm going to switch that up as well. Um, we're going to use Abyss to aid Chiron in the attack spot because he's got such uh, high HP or high level. And uh, Chiron does a lot of damage, so we should be using him there. Uh, looking good now, I think. I think that's pretty solid. I think. Well, let's hope that uh, this is a good strategy. We're going to go in. Oh, we got to buy a challenge. Yeah, so we did some damage the first time around. Uh, the first two times around. First time around, whatever. 6.6, .6, not terrible, not fantastic. I uh, should be getting around 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and isolate um, that meteorite freaking claw uh, freak. Twit, I would say. So we're going to try and get all of these archers in here. We're going to try and get all of them into this um, allied win. As long as the great, state, great Sage sticks around long enough, we should be able to really, really put the hurt on these guys. Um, okay, so Great Sage is one right now. That's going to make us a little bit more difficult for us to keep uh, Metroid or whatever that stupid hero's name is. To keep uh, everybody in the rage on this, but uh, we're going to try. So I'm going to use this allied on him here. I think we're going to get close to 10 million here in damage. We should take her right out of the picture, I would say. Um, everybody seems to be staying inside that allied wind spell, which is exactly what the plan was. Um, Alright, so we really want to use this um, there you go. Okay, so we use that because um, we want to block out the the skills of these two heroes. We don't want them to absolutely poof our mercenaries um, because basically once Great Sage is dead, that's exactly what's going to happen. Is our mercenaries are just going to disappear. Um, one good shot. So yeah, we're doing pretty well. Um, we're going to start slowing down dramatically soon because, yeah, Great Sage is dead. So, like I said, now these heroes are going to be going after uh, 
after my mercenaries, which is exactly what I was trying to avoid. So I tried to use up that allied winds as early as possible, get as much damage in as I could. Yep, we're putting a pretty good beat on these guys. That's a lot more like it. Um, we still got 24 seconds left. Yeah, we're going to crack that 1 million plot or 10 million plateau, that's for sure. With relative ease. So keep Chiron in there, it kind of distracts them. They'll, they'll move to him as opposed to focusing directly on our mercenaries. Well, that's, uh, I think that's my new best, personal best for uh, Ninja. We might get 12 million here. That's a little more what I'm used to seeing. We kind of dab we, we dabbled in a little bit of a different uh, mixture of the formation, and uh, it was stopping us from getting really, really good scores here. A lot of damage. So that's that, that's and girls, and that is how you isolate and destroy. I took her from my, what was she at, 40% down to 2%. So that is pretty savage. Um, that pretty much uh, locks that down for maxed out. Um, one, one hit with, uh, with wings, and we should, uh, we should pretty much eliminate that base, that whole, that, that, that freaking whole dungeon. So let's have a look. We'll have a look, see. Might have to make some changes to my troop composition there as well. Hopefully you guys can bear with me. Um, I hope to make that attack worthwhile. As you can see, I do like to bring spells in. Um, I, I like to further our progress as much as humanly possible uh, as a, just for our whole guild. Gets us a better statue. Um, gets us a, a good feeling of camaraderie. So uh, we're going to check out the formation right off the bat. Yeah, we definitely need Pan in this. We don't need Abyss. So we're going to remove Abyss. And we're going to put our Golly in. I also wanted to, to, to show something to someone. I, it was my understanding that uh, you might be able to, uh, we'll deal with it after. We'll deal with it after. Okay, so, uh, Pan, where are you? Where are you at, son? Oh, right there. That's my Max Pan. There he is. All right, so he's going in top spot. This is going underneath, but we need to take this off. We'll put that on Chiron. There you are. Man, sometimes I need to get lost. All right, so that's there. Ambrosia's not in, so she needs to get changed out. Uh, I, don't, I don't really care about Great Sage. He's not doing any major damage to the enemy. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to have to be run a event. It's a little bit crappy. But that's that. That's nothing. That's nothing really. Okay, so we put the book down there. Um, basically identical lineup to the one that I just used. Uh, this is pretty much the best thing I can bring in for uh, for killing air troops. Well, as you can see, I haven't even reset because this is our first day back. I don't like to attack at the beginning of the day. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to reset this baby and we're going to go, hang on, we're going to check the spell. Are you there? Do we have any spells? No, we do not. All right, so we are rocking the Casbah. So what we need to do here is we're just going to point out who we've got, oh boy. Okay, so yeah, it's not going to take as long to eliminate this guy. Um, yeah, let's just do it. Not a lot of talking going on here. It's just go in and go beast. Go beast. It sucks that um, you can't isolate as much. 
probably should have went on a Metroid, whatever that hero's name is. Because then they would have all, now see all these sharpshooters wandering around over here? They're all going to get dead. That's going to suck. Not really how that, I, I should have planned that out a little better. We want the defending heroes to chase after Great Sage so as to not kill all our mercenaries, as you can tell. So yeah, there's all those sharpshooters pretty well all dead. But we're gonna, we're gonna do some substantial damage to this guy, I think. Not what I'm used to, unfortunately. I'm gonna crack that off right now before uh, we don't get the chance. Wow, they did not last long in that spell. Hopefully we get all those sharpshooters in there. Yeah, this is not uh, what I had in mind. <laughs> Jeez, I did better with Ninja. Okay, so we're going to drop uh, one more spell here. And we're going to wait. Obviously, we'll have no trouble bringing back Pyro, so he can die all he wants. You'll notice that I probably won't end up using um, Pangali's aid skill or divine skill. Um, simply because I don't want to punch this guy away from me. I want to keep him here. I don't want my. my Troops to have to go chasing after them. That's just not. Uh, that's not good business. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. So, yeah, this is a pretty pathetic attack. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna do this again for the purposes of this video. We're going to bring it back. We're going to do this again. We don't want to end this match um, without putting this guy out. That's just, it is what it is. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do much better. Because, yeah, he's in the middle. All these mercs are going to wander all over the place. Wonder how can I get him into the middle of this base? Yeah, he's got one more good hard shot. Good boy. Twenty-two million. It's not great. Again, it comes down to isolating. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anybody into the middle. right away. I wonder if I switch that. Got an idea. I have an idea. We are going to change the formation here. We're going to switch it up. What the? Formation swap. We're going to change this to Landicap. What the? Sage landslide. All right, and we are going to add this piece of equipment that's on Great Sage. Oh, it wasn't one on Great Sage. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so we're going to bring landslide in instead. Uh, we're going to get some pretty strong mercs. There are some pretty strong monkeys that aren't going to do a whole lot of much because. They only attack ground troops. I think we should be able to take this guy down without spells. Because we're going to get him right away. 
We're going to get right in here right away. If it ever wants to go. I'm not used to not having great saves to bring that rage up right away. But I don't think we're going to be in too much difficulty, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so now we've got him over here and our, our sharpshooters have targeted him. So this should be this should be pretty productive even without the spells. Okay, so we're going to activate Chiron and then we're going to use his Divine. And that's going to bring the halo around all of the Chiron clones. See, the beauty of Landslide is even though he doesn't attack, attack the aerial troops, as long as there's ground structures on the base that you're attacking, he will, his, his skill will actually affect the attacking hero. So, but once those structures are gone, he won't do any damage to that uh, stupid arrow leaf. Arrow leaf will just be floating above him, attacking him, and he won't do anything. So, that's how that works. Use his stomp, even though it's not doing anything. But the beauty of it is it's going to take arrow leaf forever long to try and take him down. There's my little sharpshooter over here trying to get his way into the uh, into the base to go get our elite little guy. Come on in there. There you go. Now you're gonna get dead. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm not doing very well, but I didn't really need to. So we're gonna make this a really long guild clash video, okay? So I don't know, or a battle royal video. So I don't know, uh, I don't know if you guys got anywhere to go, but we're gonna we're gonna put uh, we're gonna do three attacks. We're gonna go into the next round and do another attack, just because we can, because we like to. Uh, I am definitely going to switch out Landslide because I don't want him to draw Pangoli over at all. I might even put in uh, Skull Mage. We'll see. I, I don't have very high mercs for him. So, okay, so that, 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 like I said, it wasn't going to take much work to get through that. But as you can tell, if I had some spells there, I would have got a lot higher score. Uh, let's just check this. Yeah, okay, so we don't really want to attract Pangoli. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Great Sage out, or Landslide out, and we're going to drop back in Great Sage. Landslide. Landslide 160. He should really be, should be here. Okay, because that's going to increase our attack. So we want to keep Pan. I guess this is our lineup. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to do a lot of damage to uh, to one of those victory statues. Um, it looks like we might be able to sneak one in real quick. Um, this video shouldn't be that terribly long. Maybe longer than normal. Most Battle Royal uh, videos are very short. But we're going to get right nasty here. I just want to take a, do some real serious damage to a brand new victory statue. Okay, so hopefully we can manage to keep Pangali sitting over there. Um, a lot of times Chiron's aids don't allow that. Not AIDS, his clones. Um, they have a tendency of wandering around the base a little bit. So we're going to pop this. Yeah, here comes Pan. See, that's, that's kind of what happens normally. Um, 
and it kind of sucks. Sucks a lot. Kind of gonna pop one off and do some serious damage to somebody in my one of my heroes. We didn't bring Abyss with us because of that very reason. Abyss will wander over to Pan 50 times full rather than go after this victory statue. I don't know if he's just a little chicken shit or what, but. Guild Clash, he sure does seem to like to go after that victory statue, now, doesn't he? So, sure enough, Pangoli's targeted. Great Sage, which is what was expected, but what he's doing is he's freaking, every time he shoots, he's hitting him when he event. It's taking her health off. We're going to use that right away. Because she might not laugh, but last much longer. Oh, yeah, she's dead. She's very dead. I don't mind Pan getting popped away here. So we got 45 seconds left. We're already at 17 million. Feeling like this is a pretty successful mission here. We should get close to 30. I have. I don't think I've ever surpassed. Um, 28. Okay, so I think he's gonna hit us. Come on, hit, hit back, hit back. Stun that dude. Okay, there we go. Looks like we kept all our heroes alive. Yeah, that's beautiful. So now Pan can't do anything basically till the very end of the match. We're going to hit 30 here. No doubt. 30. Oh, wow. We ever just blitz him through this. See, because Pan's locked out for like 15 seconds, so he can't do any damage to us. So that's the first time I ever, uh, ever crossed the 28 mark. Now my heroes are going to start taking more damage. Pan's going to do a shot here, and it's going to it's going to hurt us. We're hitting thirty. That's thirty. I'm happy. I'm pretty stoked now. Thirty mil. That's a lot of damage on that one victory statue and one attack. Brilliant. Thirty one. Almost thirty two mil. Sick. Okay, so I'm happy about that. That is the best I've ever done on both of my accounts. Um, that's off the hook. It cost me an extra 100 jewels for each, but uh, whatever. You know what? It's only a game. It's only money. It's only good times. So, that's that. That's freaking that's beast mode battle royal right there. That's how you do it. Um, wings rule. Keep clashing, y'all. Spartans, we are on the lookout. We are recruiting. Don't forget that. Peace. Open your head. Take a glass. Don't be scared.